Have you ever noticed foam in your urine? Or that it is darker than usual? If so, you might have proteinuria. Proteinuria is basically a condition of excess protein in the urine, and it is one of the most significant signs of kidney damage. This occurs because damaged kidneys start leaking proteins, like albumin, into the urine. In fact, it is estimated that around 6.7% of the U.S. population experiences this condition. But don't worry. In today's video, we will explore four vitamins that help stop proteinuria and heal your kidneys. So, let's begin. Number 1. Vitamin D. You may know vitamin D for its benefits for bones, but it can also help you stop proteinuria and heal your kidneys in several ways. Firstly, it reduces inflammation throughout the body, including the kidneys, helping to stop proteinuria and healing kidneys. This is because healthy filtration systems of kidneys, called glomeruli, normally do not allow larger protein molecules to pass through them and keep them in the blood. But kidney inflammation, or glomerulonephritis, the inflammation of glomeruli can damage these tiny filters of kidneys and make them leak protein into the urine. So by reducing and preventing inflammation, vitamin D helps stop proteinuria and heals kidneys. Secondly, active vitamin D helps maintain a balance of minerals like calcium and phosphates in the body. With vitamin D deficiency, these mineral levels can become imbalanced, which can put additional strain on the kidneys. Because damaged kidneys have to work harder to balance these minerals, and if they cannot do this properly, it can result in kidney stones and inflammation, both of which can cause or worsen proteinuria. Thirdly, vitamin D can help reduce proteinuria by lowering blood pressure, a major risk factor for kidney damage. High blood pressure can damage the glomeruli, decrease their filtration efficiency, and cause protein leakage. Vitamin D helps regulate blood pressure by inhibiting the release of renin and angiotensin, enzymes that can cause high blood pressure. Additionally, it maintains the flexibility and health of blood vessel linings and prevents the stiffness that can cause increased blood pressure. Vitamin D also has antioxidant properties which protect kidney cells from oxidative damage caused by free radicals. This further protects kidney function and reduces proteinuria. Moreover, vitamin D's anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties prevent scar tissue formation, which is abnormal tissue growth caused by inflammation in the kidney. It eventually degrades kidney function and causes proteinuria. By preventing it, vitamin D further helps. So, to stop proteinuria and heal your kidneys, add vitamin D to your diet. The daily recommended vitamin D intake for adults from 18 years to 70 years old is 600 international units or 15 micrograms, and for those above 70 is 800 international units or 20 micrograms. However, nearly 41% of the U.S. population has insufficient vitamin D levels, which makes it essential to ensure adequate vitamin D intake. You can get it from sunlight, the natural source of vitamin D, as our skin synthesizes vitamin D when exposed to sunlight. However, if your sun exposure is limited, you can get vitamin D from foods like fatty fish, including salmon and mackerel, cod liver oil, liver, egg yolks, and fortified foods such as milk and cereals. Moreover, vitamin D supplements are also available. When choosing supplements, you may find two options, vitamin D3 and vitamin D2. Vitamin D3, called colocalciferol, is generally recommended over D2, called ergocalciferol, because it is more effective in maintaining vitamin D levels in the blood. However, if you have chronic kidney disease, consult your healthcare professional. They may prescribe you a vitamin D supplement called alpha-calcidol, an active form of vitamin D, because damaged kidneys cannot efficiently convert vitamin D. The recommended daily dosage of alpha-calcidol is typically between 0.25 and 1 microgram. Moreover, make sure to take magnesium supplements with vitamin D supplements. This is because vitamin D increases the absorption of calcium and magnesium is necessary to direct this calcium towards bones where it is needed and prevents building its levels in arteries which can cause arterial plaque. If you take vitamin D supplements, be sure to follow the recommended dosage as excess vitamin D can cause toxicity with symptoms like nausea, vomiting, and kidney damage. Number two, vitamin B complex. The vitamin B complex is a group of essential vitamins that includes B1 or thiamine, B2 or riboflavin, B3 or niacin, 
B5 or pantothenic acid, B6 or pyridoxin, B7 or biotin, B9 or folic acid, and B12 or cobalamin. These all vitamins work together to support kidney health and manage proteinuria. Firstly, vitamins B1 and B6 help regulate blood sugar levels. High blood sugar is linked with diabetic nephropathy, a type of kidney damage caused by high blood sugar levels. High blood sugar levels can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys. As mentioned earlier, these tiny vessels, called glomeruli, are responsible for filtering waste products and excess fluid from the blood to form urine. When they are damaged, they start leaking protein in the urine. Therefore, vitamins B1 and B6 help regulate blood sugar levels and protect and heal the kidney's damage. Secondly, vitamins B6, B9, and B12 lower homocysteine levels. High levels of homocysteine, an amino acid, are associated with an increased risk of circulating proteins in the blood, which eventually leak into the urine, causing proteinuria. Thirdly, vitamins B6, B9, and B12 are essential for producing and maintaining healthy red blood cells, which also support kidney function. Kidneys normally synthesize erythropoietin, a hormone that plays an essential role in red blood cell production. When kidneys are damaged, erythropoietin levels are low, which decreases red blood cell production or causes anemia. Anemia can further damage the kidneys as it reduces blood supply to the kidney and damages kidney cells. So by maintaining healthy red blood cells, these vitamins help. So to get all these benefits, add vitamin B complex to your daily diet. The recommended daily intake for vitamin B1 is about 1.2 micrograms for men and 1.1 micrograms for women. B2 is 1.3 micrograms for men and 1.1 micrograms for women. B3 is 16 micrograms for men and 14 micrograms for women, and B6 is 1.3 micrograms for both men and women. Moreover, vitamin B7 has a recommended intake of 30 micrograms, B9 has 400 micrograms, and B12 has 2.4 micrograms. To get these vitamins, you can add whole grains, meats such as chicken and turkey, dairy products, eggs, nuts, seeds, leafy green vegetables, and fortified foods to your diet. Vitamin B complex supplements are also available. However, remember that B vitamins are water-soluble and are not stored in the body, so they must be replenished daily through diet or supplements. Number three, vitamin C. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. It fights free radicals, the unstable molecules reacting with healthy cells, and protects kidneys from oxidative stress and inflammation, the major risk factors for kidney damage and proteinuria. Vitamin C also plays a role in collagen synthesis, a protein that is a critical component of connective tissues, including those in the kidneys. Collagen supports the kidney glomeruli, effectively maintains their shape, and results in an intact filter, which decreases the risk of proteinuria. In cases where the kidneys have already suffered damage, vitamin C plays a crucial role in wound healing and tissue repair. By promoting collagen synthesis, vitamin C supports the regeneration of healthy kidney tissues, helping to restore normal kidney function and reduce proteinuria. So, to heal your kidneys and stop proteinuria, add vitamin C to your daily diet. Recommended daily vitamin C intake is around 75 to 90 micrograms for both men and women. You can get it from citrus fruits like guava, oranges, lemon, and kiwi, as they provide vitamin C naturally. However, vitamin C supplements are also available. While vitamin C supplements are generally safe, high doses, mainly above 2,000 micrograms, are considered harmful as they can cause complications like gastrointestinal discomfort or kidney stones. Therefore, it's essential to consult a healthcare provider before taking high-dose vitamin C supplements, especially if you have a history of kidney stones or other kidney-related issues. Number four, vitamin E. Vitamin E is also an antioxidant, and it helps combat inflammation and oxidative stress, heal and protect kidneys, and stop proteinuria. It also helps to maintain the elasticity of blood vessels and prevents them from hardening, which causes hypertension or high blood pressure. Good blood vessel health ensures a rich supply of oxygen to the kidneys, which is crucial for their healthy function and reduces the risk of proteinuria. So, to stop proteinuria and heal your kidneys, add vitamin E to your daily routine. 
Incorporating vitamin E into your diet is relatively easy. You can start cooking your food in plant-based oils rich in vitamin E, like sunflower or wheat germ oil. You can also take almonds, sunflower seeds, and hazelnuts as a snack in the evenings daily. The recommended daily intake of vitamin E is 15 micrograms. However, if you have kidney disorders, your need is lower than this, generally around 8 to 10 micrograms. Moreover, while vitamin E has many health benefits, consume it with caution, especially for people with blood disorders. This is because excess vitamin E can cause blood thinning. Therefore, people on anticoagulant medications should consult their doctor before including vitamin E in their diet. There you have it, four vitamins that help stop proteinuria and heal your kidneys. It is not necessary to add supplements for all these vitamins to your daily routine. Instead, aim for a balanced diet rich in these essential vitamins to naturally protect and heal your kidneys. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, like our video and subscribe to our channel.